everyone, how are you guys all doing today? My name is Mirko and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So before we jump into today's video, I'd just like to apologise for the lack of uploads these past four or five days. It's been my girlfriend's birthday this weekend, so I've just taken a little bit of time out to spend time with her. But I'm now back and it's a new week and also a new update that has hit Apex Legends. So before we jump any further into the video, if you want to be featured in my next video, be sure you're liking the video and also commenting down below. In today's video, we have Fritz Doctor who says you sound like a pretty good and friendly person you even play with your subscribers pretty lit thanks for the comment there and if you guys do want to play with me on playstation be sure to add my psn i'll leave it in the description but be sure you send me a message as well letting me know that you're coming from my youtube channel so i know it's not anyone just randomly adding me so this apex update that has just gone live is probably one of the biggest updates when it comes to gun tuning and basically weapon balancing because they've done a lot of things the gun that has taken the biggest hit in this update is the wingman the wingman has had its magazine size reduced from six to four which is absolutely huge and if you haven't got heavy mag you're going to have a really hard time trying to kill people using the wingman because bearing in mind it's really hard to put your shots on target and be accurate with it i mean you've only got four bullets so then four bullets need to basically all be on target if you want to kill someone that's got 200 hp and this honestly makes me think that this gun is probably not going to get used nowhere near as much you don't always land your shots with the wingman the wingman is such a really hard gun to mark Master, and most people will probably not ever pick it up again after this update the spitfire has taken a very slight knock but i still think it's a very strong gun and respawn themselves have said they only wanted to reduce it slightly so it still maintains its reputation because the drop rates on this gun is rarer than others now there is one gun that has had quite a huge buff in this update and that's the havoc now not only has it had its ammo capacity its base magazine size increased from 25 to 32 rounds which is absolutely huge because with energy ammo you can't actually find extended mags for it so whatever your gun has got you have to stay with that base magazine size throughout the whole game but it's also had a very slight damage increase at certain ranges as well but the main thing is that ammo increase that we needed with the havoc and respawn themselves have stated that they want the havoc to compete with the r301 and that's why they've increased the magazine size and it seems like they're really trying to push this weapon and i can't wait to use it more after this update and hopefully get a guide out for you guys very soon now now moving over to the longbow the longbow is probably one of the least used weapons in this game and i also think overall snipers can be quite weak in this game now i made a video quite a few months ago on why you should use snipers don't get me wrong i still do think they're very good weapons but there's just other guns like the wingman which literally does five less damage than the longbow and the wingman has such more of a faster fire rate so it just didn't make sense to use the longbow so the main thing that they've done is they've increased the fire rate from 1.2 seconds to 1.6 seconds which to quite a few of you doesn't sound like much of a difference but it really is quite a big difference when you are shooting consistently but even then I don't think they've buffed it enough to the point where people are going to start prioritizing it over other weapons but they've also increased the base magazine size from five to six and they've adjusted the other magazine attachments accordingly depending what variety you find now the longbow itself the g7 scout and the triple tape which are probably three weapons that you guys never pick up in apex legends have all three of them have had a lower leg shot damage reduction from 25% to 10% and they've also have reduced uh, weapon sway by about 33% which is actually quite a huge number so I still think that's not enough for me to pick up any of them three weapons but I'm definitely going to give them a go because these stats can sometimes really make a big impact in game so it's definitely worth testing if you guys want to test any of this out and as always I'll leave the link to all of these patch notes in the description there's loads of other patch notes that aren't to do with weapons but I wanted to cover this video specifically for weapon patches am I happy and do I agree with the things they've done in this update I'm actually really happy about this now with the wingman i don't think they had to reduce it down to four i think if they reduce it just down by one and reduce it to five was enough i think reducing it down to four completely ruins the gun if you haven't got that uh, extended mag attachment on but nevertheless i think the havoc buff has been absolutely amazing and they've balanced out the spitfire the spitfire has only changed slightly and the big thing about that is that they've reduced the base damage from 20 to 18 i still think that's going to be a very strong gun and respawn themselves and so they still want it to maintain its very high reputation that it has but anyway i'm gonna wrap this video up here guys i want you guys to go and test this and let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section thank you all for watching this video enjoy the rest of your day and i catch all of you guys out in another apex video thanks for watching